Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a set of fractions where we cannot take the denominator and turn into a 10, a 100, or 1000. It's not possible. So what we need to do there is simply do the longhand division. In other words, 2 divided by 3 is the same as 2 thirds, and so simply we're going to take the number 2 and divide it by 3. Oop, line is on the wrong spot right here. There we go. 3 goes into 2 0 times. We know we have a decimal spot there. We'll put a decimal spot there. We add another 0. 3 goes into 20. Mm, that's exactly 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. Remainder is 2. Drop the 0. 3 goes into 20. 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. Remainder is 2. Drop the 0. 3 goes into 20. 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. Remainder is 2. And I think you're beginning to see the pattern here. Every time, it's going to be 6 times, 6 times 3 is 18, the remainder is 2. So realize that this is just going to continue forever and ever and ever. In other words, 2 divided by 3, or 2 thirds, can be written as 0 0.6666666666, on and on and on forever. Hmm, how do you properly write that? Well, there's several things we can do. One of the things we can do is write it as follows. This can now be written as 0.6 with a line on top. This line on top simply means that it continues with sixes forever without ever changing. So this really represents 0.6666666 dot 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 forever. So you can write it as dot dot dot, you can write it with a line on top, or you can round it off to two, three, four, five decimal places. In other words, you can also write this as 0.67 to two decimal places. In other words, you take the second decimal place and you round it off to the nearest number. So since it's 0.666, that rounds off to 0.67. Or you can write it as 0.667 when you round the third decimal place. Or you can write it as 0.6667 and round the fourth decimal place or so forth. It all depends how many decimal places you want before you round it off. So there's various ways in which you can write it. This is probably a preferred way, or this can also be a preferred way, indicating that this keeps on, keeps on going forever. And you probably don't even need to write that many sixes. All right, if you're a little bit confused, let's now take the second example and see that it really works the same way. Let's come over here. We take the number five and we divide it by 12, that's the same as 5 twelfths. So we take the number 5 here and divide it by 12. Well, 12 goes into 5 zero times. We know we have a decimal place here, a decimal place there. We now add a zero. 12 goes into 50 four times. 4 times 12 is 48. Subtract, we get 2. Drop down to 0. 12 goes into 20. That would be 1 time. 1 times 12 is 12. Remainder is 8. Drop down to 0. 12 goes into 8. 6 times, 6 times 12 is 72, remainder is 8, drop down to 0, 12 goes into 80, 6 times, 6 times 12 is 72, and again here you begin to see a pattern. Every time it's, you're going to end up with a remainder of 8, you add a 0, it will fit in there 6 times, and you can see that we're going to get a continuous stream of 6s, which means that this can now be written as 0. Four one six 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 six, and so forth. Well, again, we can write it the way we did up here. This can be written as 0 0.416 and put a line on top of the 6. This tells us that now we're going to get continual 6 forever afterwards, or you can round it off to the nearest number after 2 or 3 or 4 decimal places. So this can be written as 0 0.42 to 2 decimal places, or you could write this as 0 0.417 to three decimal places. Or you could write this as 0 0.4167 to four decimal places. Or you could write this as 0 0.41667 to five decimal places. Depending upon how you want to write it, there's a, a number of ways in which it can be done. This is a proper way to write it. You don't need to write that many sixes. You can simply say 4.166 and then just dot, dot, dot. 
or 0.416 with a line on top indicating this is going to continue forever or you can run it off to two decimal places, three decimal places, four decimal places or five decimal places. That's the proper way to deal with it. Okay, let's try one more example and I think then you'll see the hang of it. Uh, you'll get the hang of it to see how this is done. Let's move this down here, write this as 7 divided by 15 is 7 divided by 15. So a fraction is basically like a division. We can come over here, we take the number 7 and divide it by 15. 15 goes into 7 zero times, place a decimal place there, put a decimal place there, add a 0, 15 goes into 7, D, let's see, that's 4 times, 4 times 15 is 60, remainder is 10, drop down to 0, 15 goes into 100, that looks like 6 times, 6 times 15 is 90, remainder is 10, drop down to 0, 15 goes to 100, 6 times, 6 times 15 is 90, remainder is 10, and again you start seeing a pattern here that we're now from now on we're just going to keep getting 666, so this is just simply going to continue on like this. In other words, we can write this number as 0 0.4666 and dot dot dot, meaning it's going to go on forever, or we can write this as 0 0.4. Four, six with a line on top indicating the sixes are going to go on forever or you can round it off to two decimal places, four decimal, three decimal places and so forth. So 0 0.47 or 0 0.467 and so forth. You can round off to however many decimal places you think you're going to need to accomplish your goal. So we can see that if the denominator can, does not evenly fit into 10, 100, or 1,000, and so forth, then you simply do a longhand division, and then when you get a repeating decimal, you have to indicate that this is repeating, either by using dots or by putting a line on top, or you round it off to the proper number of significant figures for your purpose. And that's how it's done.